guys so I hope you're all well um, so today I thought I would make a video just talking about my thought process when I'm shopping and buying new products um, mainly clothing accessories and that sort of thing um, and I've just written down 10 tips that I tend to think about when I'm shopping and buying new stuff um, so let's start the first thing I've written down is am I likely to find it anywhere else if I leave it so if I'm in a shop and I find something I'll think to myself okay I really like this but am I likely to find it in another shop because if something's really on trend, like last season there was the peplum and every shop had its own version of the peplum. Dresses, tops um, and different shops do better versions and different styles and I might buy the item but then I might continue to look in other shops and look for a better version to suit me, if that makes sense. Um, so definitely that's one of the things I take into consideration. Am I likely to find it somewhere else? Sometimes I find something and I'm like, I don't even need to look anywhere else because this is perfect and it suits my shape perfectly. It suits my personality and my style. Um, in which case I'll just buy it and that will be the end of it. But if I buy something and I'm like, it's nice but I might be able to find something in another shop like a better version then in that case I might buy it and then I'll just continue looking or I'll leave it and I'll just look elsewhere so the second thing I take into consideration is do I have something similar and if I do do I get a lot of wear out of it so I'm totally happy to buy things that I've got similar at home provided it's something I make a lot of use out of and I get a lot of wear out of. Like recently I did a gym and fitness haul and I showed you lots of new products. I've already got lots of fitness clothes and if I was out and... I found a great pair of workout tops and I know I've got something similar at home and it works really well like I wear it day in day out and it washes well and it does a great job then I'm perfectly happy to buy a few more of those tops because it's a reliable product or brand and it's just something I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of so yeah, if I have something similar and I get a lot of wear out of it, then I'll buy it again because I know I'm probably going to get rid of the one that I've got home at some point in time because I've probably used it a lot. Um, so that's something I take into consideration. Do I have something similar? Obviously, I'm not going to go out and buy 10 of the same thing just for the sake of it or... Every time I go shopping, I'm going to just buy the same style of dress in different colours or, you know. I, in my wardrobe, literally, pretty much any trend you can think of, I've probably tried it or I've got it. Um, so, it's hard to kind of just put me in one style box, if that makes sense. The only thing I love to take into consideration is how something fits on my body and the cut and the style and if it's a classic piece. Which leads me on to my third point. So the third point that I wanted to make is, does it suit my body shape in terms of the cut, the length and the style? So obviously I've been buying clothes for years and I've kind of come to a stage now where I know what works for me. Some brands I find really reliable, like I can just see something and be like, yeah, I've tried something like that in the past, it's worked, I don't even need to try it, I'll take it. Um, whereas, obviously your body shape changes over time and 
luckily for me, I've kind of been quite consistent in my body shape and, you know, things like that. So it's not something I've had to worry about. But obviously, I know as you get older and as life you go through life, your body can change and things like that. But you just kind of go with it and you just kind of work out what suits you, what doesn't, what works, what doesn't. And yeah, definitely I take into consideration if it suits my body, style, shape and just me, my style. Because um, if I'm buying something, I want to make sure I'm going to wear it. I told you guys once before in a previous video, if I buy something and I don't wear it within the 28 days, I return it. Um, so let me move on to my fourth point. Um, so the next thing I take into consideration is, can I wear it more than three ways and create different looks? So when I, unless I'm shopping like for a special occasion, when I buy something, I like to plan my outfits in my head so if I can't style the outfit more than three ways I'm not buying it because I'm not just buying something to wear it the one time and I like to challenge myself creative like creatively when I'm styling and shopping and things like that so I definitely take into consideration can I wear something and make it look completely different in three different ways? Um, so yeah, that's point number four. The next thing, point number five, is can I wear it without having to layer too much? Um, so this is probably a bit of a unique one, but I'm one of these people, I don't like wearing too many layers. I don't like wearing too many clothes. It just makes me feel like not good throughout the day I like to keep my looks minimal but chic and just have my own style sta like staple um, but I don't like to wear things where I'm wearing layers and layers even if it's really cold I won't wear a lot of clothes but I'll just layer up with a really warm coat and yeah keep comfortable but just not too many layers um point number six that i take into consideration is does the color complement me i think that's a really important point because sometimes we like something but the color's not just right and you just buy it anyway because the shape is good, the length is perfect, but the colour isn't right. Um, yeah, I don't do that. If the colour doesn't work for me, I'm not going to buy it. Luckily, I'm the sort of person where I can wear a lot of different colours and make it work for me. But there's some colours, I tend to like quite bold colours rather than wishy-washy colours. But lately, you will be seeing in a future haul of trying to go towards more pastel colours and I've brought some really amazing pastel pieces. Um, and this spring summer, I'm going to be trying a lot more subtle, romantic kind of pastels. Um, so yeah. So the... Next point, point number seven that I've written down is, if I could only buy one item this month, would this be the product I would choose? So that kind of determines to me how much I really want it. Because sometimes you can shop because you're bored and you've got time to kill and things like that. And... I just think it's important to shop with a purpose and shop and buy things that you're actually going to wear. Um, so if I come across something, I always take into consideration if this was the only thing I was going to treat myself to this month, would it be the thing I would choose? If my answer is no, then I leave it. 
if my answer is yes then I'll buy it because sometimes I might come across something it's a bit pricey but I'll be like this would kind of make up for me buying 10 cheap things throughout the month or just in like invest in one really classic good piece so the next point point number eight is is it a classic piece or on trend piece and can I wear it in years to come so this is definitely a really big thing for me um like I've got clothes that I've been wearing since I was 16, 18 and I still wear them now because I love them and you wouldn't be able to tell that I bought them ages ago because even back at that stage in my life I knew my style or I knew the direction I wanted to go towards in terms of style and because when I see something in a shop when I see just say I'm in a shop and I see a blouse it's just I have a vision of how it should look I have um just when I get dressed I get dressed in a sense that I want to tell a story with what I'm wearing. I don't just get dressed like I don't care and, you know, it's because I have a story or an idea in my head and I want to project that. So normally when I'm in a shop and I see something and something's drawn with me, it's because it might remind me of something. It might be inspired by different things I've seen during the week or news stories or things I've seen when I've traveled or books I've read and I just want to portray a character but in a modern way or just things like that I'm just really passionate about getting across a vision and a overall look when I'm getting dressed so I definitely take into consideration if it's a classic piece and on trend I tend to, even though my style's a bit unique and I wear a bit, you know, not to everyone's taste kind of clothes, I try to make my looks quite classic so that it's not things I'm going to regret in years to come. Oh, like, what was I thinking, you know? Um, and if I buy it on trend piece, I try and do it in a way that is unique to my style um, I tend not to shop so much on trends but more on style and if I buy something trendy I want to do it in my own way and yeah so point number nine is is it a piece I can make my own and put my own style stamp on and do I have suitable accessories? Um, so obviously I do think accessories can complete a look. So sometimes I'll buy a dress and I'll be like, I've got no accessories to go with this. And I'll just go and I'll buy something to go with it. Because when I buy something, I buy it with the intention of wearing it. And if I know I don't have the right shoes at home and I don't have the right jewellery at home, mainly it's accessories that I don't have to go with it. Shoes, I'm good. Um, but then I'll just get the right belt, the right accessories to go with it to complete the look. Um, so I definitely take into consideration if I can make an item my own and... Because I don't necessarily want to dress and people think I'm trying to dress like someone else or copy someone else's look. I tend to have my own visions of how I want to look and, you know, that's kind of what I want to be remembered for and thought of as someone who's original and I do my own thing. I don't get too carried away in trends and pleasing other people I do what works for me um so the last point which is the most important point is my thought process is if I see something and I love it 
then I'm going to buy it and I'm going to enjoy it. But I'm going to take into consideration, can I afford it? Is it going to work well with my budget for this month? And if I buy it, is there going to be consequences? Because if I'm going to go out and buy like a bag for £2,000, then I might have to make cutbacks for the next two months or something. So yeah, you just have to take into consideration your priorities and be careful with your budgeting and just be sensible. And yeah, we all deserve a treat every once in a while. Um, and yeah, those are my top. 10 top tips. I hope this video was helpful and um, yeah, leave comments down below for any video requests and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!